What's up all the Series 6 family? Welcome back to another video. We're back over here in Flagstaff again for Bradley's uh, couple weeks checkup, right? Every couple weeks? Or is it um, weekly? It's monthly. Monthly. Sorry. But we did come twice this month because baby um, is getting another ultrasound because during the 20 week anatomy scan, um, they couldn't really get much pictures just because he was still like, they said he was just being not in the position they needed him to be in. So they scheduled me about three weeks later. Yes, three weeks later. And, he, and um, also last week when we were here in Flagstaff, she actually um, was having a lot of pain in her stomach. Um, we were not too sure what it was from. And it was, it was, it was like that for at least a week, she was saying. And um, we just came and she had to call her doctors because the pain was really bad. And of course, you know, you don't play with stuff like that, especially when baby's at this certain stage too. Mm -hmm. So then um, we went and we called the doctors, right, huh? Yeah, we called the doctor and um, I kind of did some tests here and there, but everything came back normal. So I don't know what it was. I'm thinking it might've been maybe the stomach flu or yeah. something because I was kind of feeling like pain for a whole week or maybe yeah about a week mm -hmm. so we don't know what it is but um i'm just glad that it wasn't anything bad yes, so yeah. yeah that was the main thing freaking pizza edge yeah i think it was pizza <laughs> edge it started with pizza edge oh, yeah we i only ate a couple pizzas and i was like having the worst pain ever um it wasn't to the point to where the pain was going uh wor getting worse uh, that's why I didn't go to the hospital, the ER. Um, it just kind of stayed where it was, and I took Tylenol and it went away. But with that, that whole week, I didn't really eat much. Um, actually, I haven't been nope. eating much. Even yesterday. Yeah, I think I feel like once I eat, that's like my meal for the day. So it's like I basically could only eat like once a day yeah. for me to feel okay. Mm -hmm. So. Which which is which is pretty crazy because. Like you said, we know like how her diet's very different because it's just a boy. With the girls and the twins, she was eating okay. Like she wasn't really having that bad of a problem. She had an appetite. But because now for sure it's a boy, all of her symptoms are way, way different. Everything is like opposite. Really, it is really opposite of from being pregnant with the girl and now being with the boy. And I could say yeah. I could see the difference to, with myself. Just look at just watching how the, how different it is with the pregnancy is this time. Yeah, um, I think every pregnancy woman loves and indulges in food, sweets, whatever. But this pregnancy, I'm not really like obsessed with food, <laughs> or the food don't really taste amazing like it used to. I guess <laughs> with my other pregnancies. Yeah. Um, I've cut down a lot like on chips and stuff um soda since he did too yeah i think um the soda was making me i don't know because i don't really drink soda no, even before did. pregnancy mm -hmm. but i was drinking it for dinner and i think i just wanted something sweet but that's my that's what i'm thinking might have hurt my stomach that week because uh, we were, our bodies were just like cleansing out all that sugar. Yeah, huh? yeah, for real, for real. It so. was like my stomach got even messed up from even that week of not, just like four days into not having soda and stuff like that. And I was drinking a lot of those Monster Zeros. Even though it says zero, it's still bad for you. And I was drinking like two of those a day, sometimes three day, three of them a day. If it was like two and buy two, get two of them, buy one, get one free. I was drinking those two and quick, like slamming it, boom, just right after another. So, like I guess I'm glad I stopped on that though. But yeah, the soda was no good. <laughs> yeah, well, I better get inside. I have about nine minutes yeah. till my appointment, but you know, it's a wait. Um, it's gonna be a, probably another almost an hour ultrasound, and then I gotta go see the doctor after mm -hmm. and. Yeah, so I'm excited to see baby. Um, I'll probably, hopefully get another clip in of baby's growth because I am 25 weeks today. So um, every Friday, people remember that every Friday, Bradney gets one week 
baby and Brandon gets one week closer. Yeah, so I'm excited to see how much baby has grown. And um, we actually, since we have a name, it's, it's more like, um, it makes me feel better because I feel more attached. Yes, yes, and that's why. And I, you could kind of put baby's name to the face, mm -hmm, yeah. to the profile face. Yes. Yes, and that's why, like, um, like we were saying, like, for most of our kids, we already had a set name really quick. And for um, Baby's name, we were kind of going back and forth on it. But I was like, we need to choose a name right now because I even felt bad because we're like, you know, just when you think of a baby, you're like, oh, we don't even know what to name our baby yet. Mm -hmm. And you start to feel bad because you're like, you want to start calling Baby. You got to start telling the baby right now what his name is so he get used to it. So he'll know when you call his name, he'll look at you, stuff like that. So... As of right now, guys, we're letting you guys know we do have a name for our baby boy. Yes. Um, I don't know when. It's all up to her. I'm leaving this all up to her. Whenever she wants to let you guys know, whenever she wants to show pictures of baby boy when he gets here, all that stuff, that's all up to her. And it's going to be great. It's going to be fun. Um, yeah, really excited. Our last boy, our last baby, our last boy. So we're, we're excited. Can't wait to see you. Yes. Yep. All right. Well, I'm a head into the appointment and I'll see you guys later. We're downtown Flagstaff right now. Doctor's appointment went good. We're at, I never parked out here before. This is the first time parking, but yeah. we've seen that there's a Hawaiian spot right here in this little area. And I think it's meant to be. So I'm gonna go run over there. If I don't come back guys, that means I'm ordering food. If I come back, that means it wasn't even close to being some bomb Hawaiian food. So I'm gonna go check it out. You guys wish us luck, and we're going to show you guys some good food. Never hopefully. heard of it. Yeah, hopefully. Hopefully, guys. Be careful. Yeah, make sure, like, subscribe, and drop a comment down below. I'm going to go see what's going on. Oh, so much traffic. Yeah. Traffic, traffic. Looking for my chapstick. Can I back up more or no? Um, I don't know. Oh, okay. Right, please, go. please, hurry. Okay, okay I'm going to go. I'm going to go. I'm going to go. Oh, is it back there? Oh, it is. Yeah, it's right by Karma. I haven't, I never ate here at Karma. I heard it's super good. If you love sushi, like seafood and whatnot, um, yeah, definitely need to try that out when I'm not pregnant. Yes, we got it. I wanna go it's legit, look, come check it out. I just met some other chickies. Ooh, it's so pretty. I met some other people from Guam too. The, the dad just left with his daughter. So the mom and them were still in here. But yeah, I met some other chickies, some other Micronesians in there. Which is cool. You never get to meet some more other Micronesians here in Flagstaff. Got to meet some Micronesians over here in Aloha Hawaiian Barbecue. Check it out right here. Ooh. It's bomb. Now, how are you? Now hiring, I'm about to quit my job and come work over here. <laughs> Check it out. Everything fresh, straight up fresh. See what? Wow. Oh my goodness, yes. Yes. Look, check it out. Put got it some rice. Yep. Ooh, yeah, right there, guys. We got some rice, macaroni salad, and some straight up barbecue chicken. Everything fresh. They made it right there, fresh. It wasn't grilled already, waiting to be chilled. Home girl pulled it out marinated just like how you guys see it how it's done on our channel when we marinate our chicken and everything that's exactly how they were doing it they had it like that and also got me I, i've been craving fish i don't know why just for some reason some some fish and some rice sounds good i got me my piece of fried fish right here too brandy got the same thing too as well the kids i got them there was so much on the menu i didn't know what to get and i there was somebody waiting behind me and i was like uh, uh. Mm, this is bomb Ooh, see like i told you guys this is bomb as heck. Yeah, and it's straight up made up, you know, like I said, it's so hard to run into other Islander people, Polynesian, Micronesian, um, Melanesian, anything like that, you know, to run up here. And it was pretty cool because um, the guy, he had a mask on, of course, it said Guam. So I walked up to him, you know, hey, um, I seen you, are you Micronesian and all this stuff? He's like, oh, yeah. And I just let him know I had a YouTube channel. He subscribed to it. So thank you very much. He gave me his card. He makes um, some jewelry. He has shells, all that mm. stuff. He was saying, yeah. Order from him. Yeah. And he was all like, hey, you think you could get me some turquoise? Because I let them know like, I live over here and all that. He's like, can you get me some turquoise? So there's a lot of people, a lot of my customers who've been wanting some turquoise. 
on their thing. So I was like, mm. wow, think about it. Some turquoise mixed in with some, mm. some Micronesian twist in it. Better watch out. Yeah, that guy's gonna make some good stuff. And you know, it was awesome. Like I said, it's very cool. All of us island people, we have that. I don't know if you would say, if you notice another island person, you gotta say hi to them. You gotta let them know like, hey, you know, it's cool to run into another island person, especially here, you don't get to. And like, you know, that's why I me, mean. I walked up to him and I just asked him and I started talking to his wife and all that stuff. And they're like, oh, we're from the valley. We just came out here to get out from the city to enjoy this weather and all this stuff. So, so here, of course, let me be the first to test the rice. I always gotta test other people's rice. Cal Road rice, that's what's up. I'm just kidding. I don't know what rice they use. <laughs> oh my goodness, look. This is so much barbecue chicken right here. And look, you could tell they fillet it. They take it all bone out. They fillet it there, their, their breast meat. Mm. Mm. Yes! Yes! Because I was so hung. Just kidding. <laughs> Yes, oh man, that is best. That is good. That is what's up. Mmm. They got the cabbage down on the bottom too. <laughs> Hot damn! There it is, guys. I don't know if this fried chicken is, has bones in it or not, but mm, fried chicken is fried fish, but. Mmm. Yeah. This is a fried fish, you know. Mmm. Mm, I think this is tartar. I don't like tartar sauce on my fish. I'm weird like that. Yes, honey. Mm, oh my this, god. This might be my favorite. Okay, you okay? <laughs> king. Chew, King. You gotta chew, King. You gotta chew all your meat good. He just goes in. He just, he forgets to chew. He just tries to <laughs> inhale. He's trying to take after me. He's trying to be like the garbage disposable. He's just trying to inhale all this food down. But no, son, you cannot be like your father. Never could be like your dad. Remember that. I'm just kidding. You guys, Aloha, a Hawaiian grill. Flagstaff, Arizona, downtown. I recommend it. If I could, I'd, try, I'd probably order it. Only if they had like a thing with all different kinds of stuff on it, you know, but... One out of ten. Yeah, one out of ten. I give it a nine. I give it a nine. I give it a nine. We should do that, um, like a testing. Oh yeah, like, we should. Kind of like Alonzo's mukbang. Yeah, yeah, and we just do with yeah. this one, but different foods. Yeah. So, all right then. With that being said, then guys, you guys let me know where's your guys' favorite Hawaiian grill spot is at. I know a lot of people like that Ono down there in the valley. It's all right, you know. It's all right. But like I said, little shops like that, it's more authentic, I guess I could say. It's more homemade stuff. It's really like- Like family business. Family, yeah. It's like a family business type of deal. Like, oh no, it's everywhere, everywhere, you know? But this one just straight up Aloha Hawaiian Grill. The only one I know in Flagstaff and anywhere else around close to Flagstaff. So you guys comment down below, any of your guys' favorite Hawaiian spots, any, any Hawaiian Grill spot, you guys let me know, comment down below. I want to go and check it out and go hit it up. All right, and another one is uh, I just got the beef, the beef vegetable bowl real quick. This is what the kids were eating. So let me show you guys this too. Oh yes, look at that. All right, let me go take a bite of this. And like I said, everything was fresh. That's the one thing I like. It wasn't already cooked chilling on a hot table or nothing like that it was straight up cooked fresh right in front of your eyes and food can't get nothing no more better than that damn that has a freaking flavor on it good flavor mm, yes that's good oh <laughs> i almost bit my fork <laughs> Yes, that, that's good right there. Oh man, that's good. 
I'm gonna sleep good tonight. Mm. <laughs> I know, babe. Ultrasound tech. Better not be having my wife flipping back and forth all the time and make her sick. <laughs> Dang it. But yep, yeah, this is good. Oh my god, you guys. So <laughs> look at this. That is cute. Um, I'm in the boy section. And it's funny and crazy at the same time because I'm always on this side constantly buying the girls some new clothes. But we're shopping for baby boy and I don't know where to start. So I do love these sleepers just because it's easy to put on them and uh, change di changing diaper, you know, they could be in it all day or they could go to sleep in it. Keeps them warm. Ooh, this one's nice. Yeah, so I'm gonna go ahead and grab baby some clothes tonight here in Target and definitely, definitely getting a Baby Yoda one for sure. This is coming home with me. All right, guys, sorry I'm like in a different setting. Um, this vlog, it's kind of been all over the place. It was kind of like a weekend vlog. So, um, and then don't mind the glare in my glasses. I have the ring light on and yeah. Okay, so um, I went to Target, um, of course, and I got baby some stuff. And this is like the first bundle of stuff that I got for baby. So I was pretty excited. And I'm gonna show you guys a little bit of what I got real quick. Um, I just got some mittens for him to keep his hand warm and so he don't scratch his face. Um, so these are for sure a need for me and I love them. I also got him a lot of onesies. Um, these are just the plain set here um, that could go with anything. Here, um, it's just literally a big old stack of it. Um, they came in bundles, like five of them for like seven, eight dollars. So they have really cute clothes in um, Target. And so for my number one fave to dress the baby are the sleepwears. Um, this is just some koalas. And of course, it's a zip up and it has the um, sock booty. Um, installed already it doesn't have the mittens which is fine uh, most of them don't but when they do um, that's always a plus then I just got another one it says love with the little lion one more that I got at Hobby Lobby was this cute little blanket um, it says I love you more than all the stars and it just kind of basically counts um, each month and then going into his first year. All right, so moving on to the juicy stuff. So in the video, I was explaining that I did have pain in my abdominal area. We did kind of figure out what it was, um, but I'm gonna have to go get a ultrasound to confirm it. So the doctor basically told me that I do have that I most likely have um, gallstones um, and that my gallbladder is inflamed right now. Um, I ate pizza, like I said in the video, and I just couldn't stand up. I couldn't lay down. Like, I mean, I was very uncomfortable and I was thinking of going to the ER, but the pain wasn't that bad. So I stayed home. Um, I had Holly rub my back a little too because that was hurting and I took some Tylenol about 2 o'clock. Um, I finally went to bed because the pain went away. And so I kind of figured myself, you know, like something I ate made me feel nauseous and bloated. So since then, which was almost about two weeks, I would say, um, or three I've been kind of watching out on what I eat. So no more pizza, um, which is kind of one thing that I was craving a little. 
Um, no carne asada fries. Yazi family, I was supposed to make your recipe because I was craving it this pregnancy, but I can't now. So I'm gonna have to wait. The doctors told me that I might have to have surgery um, if it gets inflamed and bad and to where I can't take the pain. Um, so that would have to be like emergency surgery during this pregnancy, which I'm hoping we don't go down that route. She said sometimes it affects the mom after birth as well. So she's kind of looking more towards surgery, which I'm praying we don't have to have surgery. So I'm kind of, I'm really watching out what I eat. Um, and if we do go to Flag and we eat somewhere, I typically just get a salad. We are looking to um, get an ultrasound and see what's going on with my gallbladder and my liver. So it sucks, but you know, things happen and we just gotta put it in God's hand and hopefully everything will be okay. So with that being said, this is definitely the hardest pregnancy that I'm experiencing. So yeah, I just wanted to let you guys know, um, but thank you all so much for watching. We are about to hit our 1K, yay! And that's definitely a milestone that I thought we'd never get to. Um, it's, it's, it's nice, you know, to know that people out there enjoy our content, our family, our videos, and that you guys are also now a part of the family and a lot of you do comment and i do remember one day i would just like to put like you know a face to the comment and meet all of you one day um i thank you all for the support make sure to like and subscribe love you all stay safe and we will see you in the next video serious six family out